Now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship. Come. Just as you are. Before your God comes. Save us, O Lord, our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us offer our body, mind and soul unto the Lord. Today in the gospel, we read and we reflect on Jesus healing and Jesus delivering a man possessed with evil. We shall also pray that everything that we are struggling to get rid of be it spiritual, uh, spiritual afflictions, be it our physical sickness, addictions. We offer all that unto the Lord and we pray for the deliverance of the Lord today. Let us close our eyes for a moment. We offer our family unto the Lord, every family member. And if there are addictions, habits that disturb family relationships, recurring sins, we shall offer them unto the Lord and we pray for deliverance from the Lord. We shall now recall to mind all our shortcomings and all our sins, asking our Heavenly Father to forgive us and to make us worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. And so with a contrite heart, we pray together, I confess, I confess to Almighty to God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind, and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Through faith, the conquered kingdoms, God will provide something better for us. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 32 to 40. Brethren, what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms and forced justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, were made strong out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. Women received back their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release so that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and flogging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were killed with the sword, 
they went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, mistreated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering about in deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all this, though commended through their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had promised something better for us, that apart from us they should not be made perfect. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial sum. Your response shall be, Be strong. Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of the children of men. Your response, be strong. Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, secure from human scheming. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Your response, be strong. Be strong. Let your heart Let take, your heart courage, take courage, courage, all who hope all who in, the Lord. in the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown me his merciful love in a fortified city. Your response, be strong. Be strong. Let, your Let your heart take courage, take courage. All who oh, hope oh, in the Lord. the Lord. I am far removed from your side. I said in my alarm, yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried to you for help. Your response, be strong. Be strong. Let, your Let your heart take courage, take courage. all who oh, hope in the oh, Lord. Lord. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord guards the faithful. But the Lord will repay to the full the one who acts with pride. Your response, be strong. Be strong. Let, your Let your heart take heart courage, courage, all who hope in the Lord. Lord. Let us all rise for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A great prophet has risen among us and God has visited his people. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. They came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gerasenes. And when he had come out of the boat, there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who lived among the tombs, and no one could bind him any more, even with a chain. For he had often been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart, and the shackles he broke in pieces, and no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he has he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him. And crying out with a loud voice, he said, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he begged him eagerly not to send them out of the country. Now a great herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside. And they begged him, Send us to the swine, let us enter them. So he gave them leave. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. And the herd, numbering about 2,000, 
rushed down to the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the sea. The headsmen <coughs> fled and told it in the city and in the country. And the people came to see what it was that had happened. And they came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, the man who had had the legion, and they were afraid. And those who had seen it told that had happened to the de- told what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine, and they began to beg Jesus to depart from their neighborhood. And as he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed with demons begged him that he might be with him. But he refused and said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how, how much Jesus had done for him and all men marveled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, this gospel passage is so descriptive about this man possessed with demon or legion, many evil spirits in him. It's so descriptive that Mark writes how and where he was living, how supernatural powers he had. He used to break chains, shackles. No one could subdue him. So it's very descriptive. And the story doesn't end like a usual event in the Gospels, a usual expulsion or a usual exorcism. But it has a tail end as well. Jesus allows the legion to go into the swine and the herd goes down and um, drowns. So it has a tail end as well. In one of the conversation about this gospel passage in our friends group, there was, there was a thought, why this collateral damage, the death of the swine herds or uh, those people who lost their livelihood, 2,000 swines were dead and they lost a considerable amount of their, their work, their livelihood. Why this is not addressed in many of the things? So we were talking it's a collateral damage. Jesus considers human being more than the swines, all these things. And one of the, one of the members of that group, he's a little elderly, he was talking, why do you need to know everything about what you read? That was an interesting question. Why do you need to know everything? Leave that for Jesus. Leave that for Jesus. In every action that Jesus does, there is beyond, you know, there is more that you cannot understand. Let him reveal that to you. That's what that elderly friend told us. Let Jesus reveal that to you. Why do you want to exhaust every word? Let the Lord reveal unto you. My dear sisters and brothers, till now Jesus has not revealed why those 2,000 swines were dead. How they lost the livelihood. But I know one thing. When Jesus heals the demoniac, this man, who was a nuisance, who was a threat to the people of that area, he wanted, after he was healed, after he was delivered, he wanted to follow Jesus. But Jesus tells, go back to your friends, your home. Be a witness. Go back to your friends, your home. Be a witness. Dear sisters and brothers, every mighty deeds of Jesus, be it a healing, be it a teaching, be it some, um, uh, be it exhortation to others, it all has different aspects. You know, uh, it's kind of uh, this healing itself, it's, it's got a personal aspect, this man, transformation of this man who was a threat to a man who is who's a human being, so to say. And there is a social aspect where this man is no more a threat. He is part of a society. 
and this also has an eschatological aspect where we think about jesus as son of god that is a revelation of jesus as son of god so when we apply the mighty works of jesus into our life we all know that every every great deed of jesus every uh, you know every deed of faith in our life every blessing that we have received has all these aspects our personal aspects it refines our own life our spirituality it delivers us it edifies our life it also transforms us a human being as a human being to a social being where we spread the aroma of christ saint paul says second corinthians chapter 5 sorry chapter 2 verses 15 he says we are the aroma of christ among the people we are the aroma of christ so every person who receives the blessing of the lord the mighty works of the lord in their life they become they produce they they manifest the aroma of christ they share the aroma of christ with everyone so every good work of the lord mighty deed of the lord is manifested in our life for the good of the people around us it's not for a personal thing it's a good for the people around us and every uh, and that's where we read in uh, 1st corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 1st corinthians 12 7 when saint paul speaks about the the gifts of the holy spirit he says 2nd corinthians chapter 12 verse verse 4 to 7 now there are varieties of gifts but the same spirit and there are varieties of service but the same lord and there are varieties of working but it is the same god who inspires them all in every one to each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good the spirit manifest in us the power of the lord manifests in each one of us for common good it's just not for us it is for everyone around us helping around everyone around us we have so many examples in the gospel especially when we read about this man who was healed who was possessed but delivered and healed now his duty is to proclaim jesus become aroma of christ he will not go back into what he was so that is where we read a change personality a changed person becomes the aroma of christ in the society in the family we read again we have another example of zacchaeus he was considered as a sinner but once jesus touches once jesus meets him comes to his house this man is changed he is son of abraham he is called son of abraham So my dear sisters and brothers our faith in Jesus Christ and all the blessings that we cherish we receive from the Lord and we cherish in our life should help us to become a better human being a better person to those around us in our family in our society in our workplace wherever we are we become a better person sometimes our life and our behavior like name we 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 possess or the name that we carry as a christian as a child of god sometimes our actions do not match them do not match them sometimes we give the counter witness i still remember um i still remember a priest who was so you know kind of um, angry like it's not always but at times out of control and then um then the witness or the way people the feeling people get from somebody who is called by god who is who is who is possessed by the holy spirit anointed by the holy spirit but doesn't match certain times it doesn't match the life doesn't match what they are given the name they carry a catholic priest so dear sisters and brothers so also take a time today to reflect look back into our own life i am a child of god i possess the holy spirit 
I am a temple of God. But my actions, do they really qualify the name that I carry? Am I a better person to everyone around me? Am I a better husband, a loving husband, a loving wife, loving children, caring parents? These are some of the questions that my faith, my faith, you know, um, helps me to ask and change, transform. So my faith transforms me into a better person. My knowledge about Jesus and all the actions, all the blessings that I have received from him makes me a better person. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, weak human beings, but standing in your presence, we lift up all our prayers unto you. So many imperfections in our life. Sometimes those even do not match the names that we carry, the titles, children of God, a Christian. Lord, all those that are not becoming for your children, we offer unto you. Lord, many a time, we have tried humanly our best, but still we fall back into the same sins, the same struggles. Lord, we pray for your grace. Touch us. As you touched this man possessed with evil, and your command made him well, delivered him, and made him a better person, made him a better person in the society, made him a witness to your name. We also pray, Lord, Touch us today. Heal us. Deliver us. And make us a better person. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may the sacrifice we have said this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash our iniquities and cleanse us. Pray, my brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, 
he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Ranjita, our Archbishop, our auxiliary bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Lord, have mercy on all our human weaknesses. Some of them giving counter witness to your love for us. Some of them do not match with the titles that we carry as children of God and Christian. Lord, we pray for deliverance. Make us better human beings who are loving everyone around us. Make us better human beings in the house with all the responsibilities that we do at our home. Make us a better parents. Make us better spouse. Make us better children. Make us better siblings. And Lord, we pray that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Vincent de Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence in the love of our Heavenly Father, let us pray together in the words of Jesus. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us spend a few moments making our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you're already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Be it unto me according to your word According to your promises, I can stand secure. Carve upon my heart the truth that sets me free. According to your word, O oh Lord, be it unto me. According to your word, according to your promises, I can stand secure. Carve upon my heart the truth that sets me free. According Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us serve the Lord in love and peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for priests. O oh Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts 
sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Let their labors, all those who receive their labors, receive your grace and blessing. Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us. to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.